And what is up you filthy animals, we're back for another video today. Today I want to talk about Alliance Team Deathmatch. As you can see, it's going to be starting in two minutes. But I want to show you guys the best tips and tricks that there are, that I know of, to get the highest score that you can get while doing Alliance Team Deathmatch. So, I'm going to pause this, and then, um, as soon as it starts, I'm going to hit uh, play, and we're going to see what we can do, and hopefully get a good score on this one. So, be ready guys, and I'll see you guys in Alliance Team Deathmatch. All right, we're back. So, we're going to be jumping in on this. Um, some of the things that I'd recommend you guys doing is going to get the most points you possibly can in each Alliance Team Deathmatch. And you kill beasts, you gather resources, and you attack other people by uh, getting points. There are different beasts. The higher the level, the more points you get. I'm going to show you guys that as soon as we start off. I usually try to hit those first so I can get closer to the higher resource tiles. And then the higher resource tiles... There's ones with like orangish red letters, and those ones have a, a lot of resources. They're like 5 million or 2.5 million or somewhere around that area, and they gather way faster. So, I mean, you can gather those within like two minutes. You can gather that much, that much points and that much uh, resources. And the more points you have, the better stats you're going to get and the more you're going to get in the way of uh, stats and stuff like that. So... And this looks like we have a really uneven match, but this will be good so I can show you guys what to do. So, I'm going to zoom out so I can see more, and then we're going to hit all the rotten buttons just to start the game off. So, like I said, these big destroyer ogres and everything like this, they have more points. So, I'm going to start off by just zapping this guy as quick as I can, which is going to use some 20% speed ups. That way I can get this guy. And then I'm going to be looking around while I'm doing this and zooming in again looking for those resource tiles and then while my guy's coming back I'm gonna just speed him back a little bit try to get this guy back faster so I can teleport over here because this looks like a pretty good gold mine to start off my alliance team deathmatch so well, bam I'm gonna hit this and start attacking these guys so And get as many points as you possibly can. So, um, yeah, just go ahead and feel free to watch. I'm going to be trying to do as much as I possibly can. Sometimes I'm not good at talking while playing this game and fighting. Most of my fighting videos, you guys know, I don't post very many. One reason is I'm just terrible at recording them. But in other ways, I just am terrible at talking while playing this and doing everything at one time. I'm a terrible multitasker. So... Let's see here, where are my higher resource tiles? Yeah, um, by the way, I'm outside. I had to stop on the side of the road, so I rec recorded this. So I'm, I apologize for that, and my sound quality isn't going to be the best. Okay, so this guy got this one right here, but my guy's got it, so I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. But as you can see, this one is just speed draining like nobody's business. He had a lot of resources in there. So I'm going to focus more on these beasts. Try to get as many points as I possibly can, as fast as I can. I'm killing as many of these beasts as I possibly can. Now, something you want to look for, too, is these guys over here that are just sitting there. They have troops out, so this guy is going to be a prime target. So I'm probably going to hop over here, and I'm going to smack this guy, see if I can get some points, because he has a lot of troops out right now, and, you know, it's just going to be an easy way for me to get points, because the more troops that are home, it's going to be harder to hit these guys. Like this guy, this guy is hitting this guy right here. He has lots of troops out, so it's good to hit him. This guy right here, as you can see, is level 25, has a deal above it. That means that he's a higher level, which means that his stats are probably going to be better. This guy, not so much. So I'm going to pop over here, and I'm just going to start smacking this guy. We're going to hit first with uh, my archer hero. I'm going to put my deputy in, deploy, and we're going to see what we can get. I'm going to speed in my first hit. And see if I can get some good points right off the bat. And there we go. I have T5s. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to hit with my infantry guy. Throw in. Uh, we're going to auto assign deputies. I try to turn that off for while I'm doing other stuff. But now he's beating his troops back home. But I've already killed a bunch of his troops. So I'm going to be hitting him. And I'm going to be getting more and more hits in. Now I try to make sure that I don't have all my marches out at once because now he's going to try to hit me and I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. But as you can see, I'm going to try to get my troops home before he does. 
and hits me, so I have all my troops home for when he attacks me. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit him again. And I'm going to hit him until he leaves or, um, or he just decides to just keep hitting me. Which is fine because I know that I have more troops at home. He's not sending a full march anymore because he's lost a lot of troops already. So I'm just going to keep burning him. And the longer that he keeps troops out, the more I'm going to just backdoor him. And I'm just going to keep hitting him until he just doesn't have very many troops left. So I'm going to speed these guys back. So these are all things that you guys can do for your strategy for playing this game. I definitely recommend it. Um, but go through and once you kill these guys. So once I get this guy down to zero hit points, I am going to get a 1,000% buff. Which is going to allow me to attack higher players because um, once I hit him and get the 1,000% buff, that buff is only temporary. It's only for a minute. 59 seconds starting so I'm going to do my best to get this guy down to zero hit points so I can go and I can attack guys with more uh, with more uh, more hit points so I can get more points and take down the bigger guys with the bigger buffs so that's something I definitely recommend you guys doing I'll show you guys as soon as I get this guy down so he's down to three hit points now so I'm just gonna speed in some hits just give it all I got and Bring this guy back really quick and then as soon as I get this guy knocked out I'm just gonna just wham all right he's gone well that's weird game's glitching well that's glitching right now but as you guys can see I got my points so we're good there I'm gonna start scrolling around trying to find more guys to hit one way you guys can do that is look at your rally attack you can see who's getting hit who's not getting hit so those are things to look at. Um, he just made him surrender. So we only got one guy left. So, I mean, we're doing pretty good right now. This is a really easy match. But I just wanted to show you guys the basics of what you guys need to do. But I'm going to keep looking for guys to hit. Like I said, I'm sorry about the background noise, guys. I, I just parked out in the middle somewhere. So there's this guy right here. So we're just going to teleport in. And I'm just going to unload some marches on this guy because everybody's doing it right now. So I'm just going to unload some marches, try to get as much as I can out of this guy as fast as I can. And hopefully I have some good results. I should get enough points that this guy is just going to die soon. And since this is the last guy, we're just going to burn some speed ups just to get this guy dead. And he's gone now. So that is how we do Alliance Team Deathmatch. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys liked today's video, um, feel free to throw a like and a subscribe on there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to come join me in Kingdom 53 where I'm playing an Iron Throne, I will put a link in the description. And I will also have a link to my Discord where you can come find me there, ask me questions there. Anything like that, feel free to come find me. And I will answer any questions either in videos or or by through messages, private DMs in Discord, or just comments on my YouTube channel. And um, thank you guys for watching today's video.